Hi everyone, I am very happy to welcome you all to Dr. JGS Virtual Academy of Commerce. In this video, I am going to teach you the computation of the four basic ratios. Let us get into the problem. Calculate gross profit ratio, operating ratio, operating profit ratio and net profit ratio. The information given in the problem are sales amount at 21,000 rupees, sales returns 1000 rupees, cost of sales 16,400, interest expenses 100, income from investments 200, administrative expenses 1300, selling expenses 700, depreciation 200. These are all the information given from which we have to compute the four ratios that have been asked in the problem. Before we move to calculate the ratios, let us prepare a statement named income statement which will help us to calculate the ratios in the easiest way. So let us prepare the income statement making use of the given information of the problem. Let's start with the sales figure. Sales amount at 21,000 rupees minus sales return 1000 rupees. So we get the net sales amount at 20,000 rupees. From the net sales, we subtract the cost of sales amount at 16,400. Therefore, we get the balance of 3,600 as gross profit. So, net sales minus cost of sales gives us gross profit. From gross profit, we subtract first the operating expenses. Expenses could be basically here categorized into operating and non-operating expenses. Specifically, I am referring the expenses that are considered in the profit and loss account, which are indirect expenses. So, when we categorize such expenses into operating and non-operating, let us first pick up the operating expenses and subtract them from the gross profit so that we can calculate the operating profit of the business. What is operating profit? It is the profit generated by the concern or earned by the concern through the main operation of the business. Fine. So, when we find the expenses given in the problem, they are interest expenses, this is non-operating expenditure. Then administrative expenses, operating expenditure, selling expenses, operating expenditure, depreciation is also an operating expenses. Therefore, these three items are operating expenses that have been presented here and subtracted from the gross profit. So, we have come to know the operating profit amount at 1400. Along with the operating profit, let us add the non-operating income if any. For any business other than finance nature of business, the income generated through the sale of the products or offering services like service revenue, they are named as the operating income. All incomes other than the sales revenue and service revenue are named to be non-operating income for the business which involve in non-finance activities. For a business which involves in lending money for interest, it does the finance business. For such business, income generated through interest is the operating income. For non-finance business, income generated through the sale of the products and services is the only operating income. So, all other incomes are non-operating income. In this problem, income from investment is a non-operating income and that is added here with the operating profit. Followed by, we subtract the non-operating expenses if any. In this problem, we find the interest expenses, interest paid, amount at 100. So, that is a non-operating expenditure. Let us subtract the non-operating expenditure of interest expenditure 100. We finally get 1500 rupees as the net profit. Now, let us go to see how the ratios have been calculated. The first ratio is gross profit ratio. Gross profit divided by net sales into 100 is a formula for calculating gross profit ratio. What is the gross profit we have calculated? through our income statement 3600 divided by net sales 20,000 rupees into 100 it gives us 18 percent as GP ratio. The second ratio we have calculated here is operating ratio. It tells us 
what's the relationship between net sales and the operating cost the operating expenses the operating cost includes cost of goods sold plus other operating expenses that are debited in the pnl account so therefore the formula for calculating operating ratio is cost of goods sold plus operating expenses the whole divided by net sales into 100 it gives us the answer of 93% if operating ratio is 93% the remaining 7% in 100 is operating profit ratio so when you calculate operating profit ratio if you get the answer of 7% you can very well assume that you have done it correctly otherwise something is wrong you have to go and check it out fine operating profit ratio what is the formula for calculating operating profit ratio operating profit divided by net sales into 100 so it tells us the relationship between operating profit and net sales so this is an important ratio through the main operation of the business what is the percentage of profit we have generated that's what about the idea fine now 1400 divided by 20,000 rupees into 100 it gives us 7 percent as i have already explained in 100 93 percent is operating ratio therefore the balance 7 percent is supposed to be operating profit ratio that is what we have calculated and the fourth ratio what we have calculated is net profit ratio what is the formula for calculating net profit ratio net profit divided by net sales into 100 net profit we know it is amounted 1500 divided by 20,000 rupees is a net sales into 100 it gives us 7.5 percent so this is an important problem which could be frequently asked in the examination so make yourself thorough with the calculation of these four ratios I suggest the learners to watch this particular video for a couple of times to gain better understanding over the fundamentals of these four ratios. So once again, I repeat, GP ratio makes us to understand the relationship between gross profit and sales. What percentage of sales is a gross profit? That's what we understand by calculating gross profit ratio. Similarly, net profit ratio helps us to understand what percentage of net sales is a net profit generated by the business enterprise. I hope you have understood what I have explained with regard to the calculation of these four ratios. Thanks for your time. I will meet you in another video. Bye for now everyone.